Mozzie make you dizzy go you want the 12SP with the Sony battery You want the Panasonic, but you ain't gonna don it So you wanna put the battery in the skateboard E You wanna use these batteries from the Panasonic E I have here a 21,700 battery and an 18,650 battery First off, it's obvious that the size of the 21,700 is much larger than the 18,650 these two are a Samsung 30T 21700 battery and a Samsung 30Q 18650 battery. Their capacity is 3000 mAh. So when we use the Samsung 30T 21700 battery and the Samsung 30Q 18650 battery to form a 12S2P battery pack, their voltage and capacity are exactly the same. So the range that can be achieved is the same. In conclusion, you may well ask, why does Backfire use the larger, more expensive 21,700 battery, but get the same capacity and range as the Samsung 30Q 18,650 battery? The simple answer is that the discharge capacity of the two batteries is different. The 30Q 18,650 provides 15 amps continuous current, the 30T 21,700 provides up to a 30 amp of continuous current, while the Samsung 40T 21700 with a G Plus provides up to 35 amps of continuous current. If you build a 12S 2P battery pack, the maximum sustainable current that the entire battery pack can provide is 30Q 18650 12S 2P 259 watt hour capacity with a 30 amp maximum sustainable current. 30T 21700 12 S2P 259 watt hour capacity with a 60 amp maximum sustainable current. 40T 21700 12 S2P 346 watt hours capacity with a 70 amp maximum sustainable current. So the maximum sustainable current that the 21,700 battery pack can generate is twice that of the 18,650 battery pack. In simple terms, the greater the current that can be supplied, the greater the power that can be output by the entire electric skateboard. However, the maximum output current required by most electric skateboards is 30 amps or less. At first glance, whether the output current of the 21,700 or the 18,650 is greater than or equal to 30 amps, it's irrelevant. But is it? Let me give you an example. To illustrate this problem, this is Lily, our backfire angel. This is Aziza, our designer. Lily represents the 18,650. Aziza represents the 21,700. Lily's best achievement is to lift a 20 kilogram weight. Aziza's is to lift a 40 kilogram weight. Let's see them run, carrying identical weights, just like the power output of the two batteries. So clearly, Lily has been working at her output limit very hard. Her movements are getting slower and slower. She's getting hotter. She's actually sweating. But Aziza, conversely, is not tired at all. The battery is the same. If the maximum current required for the electric skateboard is 30 amps, but the 18,650 30Q battery pack can only output a 30 amp supply, only at its limit, it will generate heat very quickly, trigger the system protection, and often the heat generated will greatly damage the battery life. And there will be a noticeable voltage sag in the middle and low battery cycles. This is why the G2T with the 30Q 18,650 battery has a governor which protects the turbo when engaged. When the turbo is turned on, the speed will continue to rise and break through 42 kilometers per hour. That's 27 miles per hour and the current will reach 30 amps. If we didn't make the 30 second limit, combined with the 30 seconds cool down, that phase is necessary because the battery would quickly overheat causing subsequent damage. Some people ask why brands of turbo do not have a 30 second cooldown time. Simple, 
It's because their speed does not exceed 40 kilometers per hour. That's 25 miles per hour. Lol. <laughs> However, if 21,700 batteries are used, the maximum current required for their electric skateboard is 30 amps, which is only 50% or less of the capacity of the 21,700 battery pack. The 21,700 battery pack is not exhausted at all, showing no signs of either overheating or voltage sag. So the G3 and the G3 Plus have no tow bar limit of 30 seconds. Subsequently, the speed can now hit and exceed 46 kilometers per hour. That's an incredible 29 miles per hour. So, in final conclusion, the 21,700 is an advanced battery that is inherently optimized for high level electric skateboards. Have you subscribed to our channel yet? backfireboards.com